since Ariel here. So, I have been asked several times what I'm being for Halloween this year because everybody is starting to put their videos out. And I really like this dress because it's flowy on me and whatever, whatnot. So, when you guys saw me in Disney, my Halloween costume was kind of like a hipstery, aerial, Disney bound type of thing. But, of course, down here, um, it would not have kind of went over well because. Like, when you're in Disney and Disney Bounty, they're like, oh, you're Ariel! Here they'd be like, who are you? And so I was just like, um, okay. And I am doing kind of a scare haunted hike on Friday, so I had to figure out what I could do for that. My mom had made this, like, zombie, like, dress when I was younger, so, and it fits me now, like, perfect, like, like, look at this, I thought that it would not fit in this area, so, um, ignore the blueness right there, because that is my bra, uh, that is my bra, um, anyways, I could not find my strapless one, and for, like, the time being, I'm still looking for it, yeah, and for, strapless bras aren't the most comfortable thing to be moving around in, so I probably will end up just wearing a nude bra when I go. But today, I was just like, yeah, I can't find the bra I want, so I'm just going to put whatever on. So I decided to put on something light blue under white, which does not go over too well. But for distance, you can't see. From close up, you can. Oh, well. Um, I was told and asked and told and asked if, you, if I could do anything with my hair and my makeup. And they and I was told hair, makeup, and hair and makeup. So I was just like, okay. I'm like, well, you guys have seen my makeup vlogs and they go on forever. So if you only want to do your hair like me, I thought it would be cool to have it to where it was separated. So then um we wouldn't have to worry about it. So going into my bathroom, you're going to need a camera that does not make you look like it is nighttime. Because it's broad daylight. You're going to need all this toilet paper. Why do we have so much toilet paper? Okay. So, wah! Now, it's toilet paper. You're going to need some regular, just all around, um, gel. Ugh. If you guys want to, you could put it in dry shampoo. I really don't care. And then, what I was using in my lap, and like all of my, um, Instagram photos, you guys saw that white, those white streaks in my hair, you guys thought those were cool. That was baby powder. So, we are going to go into my kitchen, where there's better light, and we are going to testify this. So, oh, and there's one more thing you need, and that will be, well, two things, actually. Let's see here. An old, disgusting comb, apparently. I was just looking for a regular comb, but, yeah. Actually, what made this comb look like this was one time after I dyed my hair, we had, um, I had all these tangles and knots, and we didn't know where they had come from, and I am now, woo, there we go, so, and hairspray. I prefer got to be glued. Um, no, I've been asked before if I have a contract with them, no, but I would love to, because that means free hairspray, and I love hairspray, and this stuff is rather expensive. Anyways, so, no, I don't have a contract with them, I just love their product, and I've been a fan of it for almost a year now, so, we are going to put you on top of the cup, and now you can see my dress a little better, actually, and there was a cape at one point in time that did go on the back. Oh, we have no clue where it is. Um, and I was asked, like, I was like, oh, were you going to find a veil? I'm like, yeah, no. Because I didn't think about that until now. Until, like, a couple weeks ago. So I'm like, yeah, it's not going to happen. So. Well. My hairspray is being weird. Anyways, so. And it does work better with, um, dirty hair. It works better with not, with, like, not freshly washed hair. Um, I have seen and found out, so I did not wash my hair this morning. 
which is going to help tremendously for the sake of this video. Because then you could just spray some hairspray and have a blob like this easily. The only thing I've noticed is that when I do mess it up, it does not stay. So if you guys have any comments, questions, like, comment down below if you guys know how to make this, like, stay all poofy because it will not stay poofy. I've sprayed it afterwards, like, a lot. And usually that helps with the curls and whatever, whatnot for me. But it will not help with this. So I don't understand. I think my hair is just so dread straight. It is just set on being a certain way. But, okay. So... I'm going to take a chunk in the front so it can be seen better and then I'm going to brush it back out and yes you don't want to just have a chunk you want to do it and then mess, brush it back out because then it's textured so it holds better so I'm going to take some gel this is just generic whatever gel I don't care because usually when I use gel, it's not for its intended purpose anyway. So, I'm just using it as an, as an agent to hold, the, not even using it to hold the hair. Like, I'm just using it to be wet. So then that way I can take some baby powder. This is the easiest, cheapest way to do this. And get it all over everything. Baby powder is a mess, so, um, yes, warning, tell your parents that why you're using this and whatever, whatnot, because it is a mess, you might want to have to put a paper towel down, something, because, yeah, it's, it's a disaster zone. So, as you guys can see, it's starting to get a little whiter, and if you want to, you can take, if I have a bowl next to me, seriously, I look up and there's no bowl. Alright, just take a bowl. Here, I'll use this it's smaller and easier. The smaller, the better. So, if you just take like a dip bowl, you can put some in here. And then that way you can just dip the brush in, which is what I usually, which is what I sometimes do, and then you can be able to kind of control it a little better. Like just dab a finger. So you can see it's showing up a little more. Um, my issue is it. The issue you're going to have is you have to really glob it up and work fast. So because I'm trying to talk and die and do this at the same time, it's become, it's like a little difficult. So, yeah. So you can start like with the end or with the top and work your way down. Probably should start with the top and work your way down, but oh well. So, put it in there. This is just like an easier way with household stuff. Like if you guys are like... Um, trying to run out the door for Halloween, or if you don't want to pay, I don't even remember how much it is anymore, for color spray, this will do a little better and it won't. Like, the powder will get all over the place when you're doing it, but I noticed that, like, after I had it done, it would stay. And it, like, blends in with my hair. My hair's so dark, but you guys can start to see that it's lighter in color. And you guys can also do it, like, if you're going to... You can spray some hairspray in your hand, and you can do it, with, do it with hairspray if that's, like, easier for you guys. I kind of don't like how it makes my hands sticky. I feel like the gel doesn't make my hands as sticky as the hairspray is. So, yeah. Get it into the root. Make sure you, like, rub it into the root so it doesn't look as fake. My hair sometimes takes things, sometimes doesn't, so it takes quite a bit of powder because my hair is craziness. My hair does not take to dye, it does not take to anything as you guys can tell. See and so and then kind of like keep brushing it out. Which I know seems like it defeats the purpose, but it'll make it stringy and make it more realistic for a costume. So and then once it's strong you can keep and you can tease it back or do whatever you do with it. As you guys can kind of see where it landed there. Or if you guys want to, you can literally just take some, if it would work with me, and place it like straight into your hair and just rub it into there. And you guys can see where it landed. It's right there by my scalp. So if you guys like have a definite place where your hair is going to part, like I'm probably going to do like a way over part like I usually do with this dress. And then you guys can just like literally put it in there. 
into the part and stuff like that. So then that way. Or if you guys are really crazy, I've seen people just go like this. And just like mess it up like that. Because then that way it like distributes the white more. So then you guys can see more gray. Because it doesn't go straight white in your hair. It goes more gray and then white. So you guys can work with mediums and like how dark how light you want it and stuff like that. So just like place it near your hair and then like an egg. You guys ever did the egg trick growing up with like I know it's like a favorite of dad's, but like, ugh, I can't even cut around the rest of it. Well, it's fine, so it works. And then, like, for my hairstyle, like you guys saw, which I was trying to do a shaved, but it did not work very well. So, basically, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to take everything to the side, take some gel, mush it in your hands, and mush it over. And that's going to create a similar look, because I just want to be like, because that way it looks more dramatic and actually when you're scaring and going back and forth, it makes it a lot easier because you can instead of trying to find a part, you can just brush it over, brush it over and it'll be okay. So I would gel slick it that this way or that way, whatever way, and put some gel in the hair itself to add texture. So that way you can like you can flop back and forth as it dries. It's going to dry. It's going to become a little better, but so then as you come up to people, you could be like, it's all in your face and I can't see you, and then you flip it back up, which is basically something I'm going to be doing, I think. So, things to think about. But this is basically all I'm doing with my hair. is a mixture of teasing, baby powder, like different mediums, just like throwing everything in and just mushing it up, and in there. You can go back in, keep messing it up. Basic stuff. Um, try not to, if you guys are wearing, like, my dress is a zombie dress, so I wasn't so worried about it, and I know that these are things that are washable, but if you're doing things like blood or anything like that, depending on the type of blood, it will eventually dry and set. So I would say put on clothing first, and then put on Put on different clothing first. Do not put it. Oh, don't, do not put your costume on, and then decide to do makeup or hair or whatever, whatnot. If you're working with blood mediums like that, because you will get it all over your costume, and especially if you are, if your parents bought the costume, whatever, whatnot, your parents will be very mad. So just keep those things in mind, and just keep messing, you know, it up, whatever, whatnot. And just have a good time and go crazy with it because it's Halloween. I'll see you guys later. I'm Arrow Vine Bovine and yeah, I suck at hair. Bye!